Let's create this typing effect in friction. I'll create a new document with around 150 frames. I'll create a rectangle and go to fill and give it a flat color. Now I'll create a text object. I'll type in hello. I'll change the font. You can select this and center it. And if you press S, you can scale the object. Press S and drag your mouse. And click. Now center it again. Let's change the color. Give it a black, a slight opacity. Now let's make a typing effect. For that, first of all, Add a text effect, right click and add effect. And here you can see there's something called diminish. Let's enable this keyframe. If you go to the node tool, you can see we have the nodes for the diminish effect. And here I will make the opacity zero under transform. Now if we move along to the right or left, you can see the letters get diminished. So we are using this to create the typing effect. We can extend this. Use the selection tool and press G to move around. If you press X, it will move around only in the horizontal axis. So I will move it to the center like this. And then I'll select the node tool. And I'll, I will bring it to this point so everything is blank. Now at the fifth keyframe I will make it so that the edge would be visible now if you go from 0 to 5 the edge is visible maybe I'll move it to the first frame now edge is visible instantly from 0 to 1 and go to the second frame and move it slightly to the right so that we will see the letter E. At the same time, we want this text to be centered. So select the text. And under transform, let's give the x value the keyframe so it will change with time. Now, what I'm going to do is press G and then X and bring it to the center like this. So H and E will be centered. And let's go to the next frame. Select the node tool and select both these nodes and make the L visible. Get the select tool, press G and X and bring it to the center like this. Go to the next frame and do the same for the other letters. 
Now if you see the animation, let's bring the frames to around 25 just for now and if I press space bar you can see it types R it has a typing effect we can make it a bit slower by moving these keyframes a bit apart Now let's add the cursor here. Save the rectangle and add the cursor. Run the fill and stroke, remove the stroke and give the black with an opacity. Press G to move around and place it where, wherever you like. Click to place it. Now we want this to appear after the text is typed. So let's come to this point. I'll add the opacity keyframe and I'll make it zero. And at this point, at the next frame, immediate next frame, I'll make it 100. Now it will be zero all the time and it will appear after this. Now we have to make it flicker and I'll copy this and keep it to about 3 frames, Control C to copy this and Control V to paste it here. Now it will be 1 here and till here it will be 1 and go to this place since we have the 0 opacity keyframe here I'll copy and I'll paste it here. Now one. And it'll be one throughout and it'll become zero. And we can continue this pattern. Control C, Control V. Let's copy and paste this pattern and let's see if it works as expected it's a bit too fast what we can do is try to make it slower So we make it zero. Now we have to make it one again. At this point, I'll make it one. I'll make it zero again. zero up until here, one, zero, zero up until here and then one and copy this and one up until here, copy this and zero and zero up until here. So you can play with these keyframes and check if that suits your needs so here it is one and I'll copy this and I'll paste it here and do it for multiple times and you got a blinking cursor now Let's go to the queue and add current scene. 
sin zero. Okay, output. I'll make it an MP4 without audio, and then the path you want that to render, render this. Now that's how you create this typewriter effect. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.